Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here with another video. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, this series is going to be entitled Love Talk Revisited. Uh, Love Talk is the video series on love, sex, and dating in our modern world. This is a new series I've come up with. It actually derives from an old series I had. I've actually revived it and have revamped it now. I'll be you know, doing little advice videos with a Christian perspective, which I'm looking forward to. I've been thinking of bringing back this particular series for a long time, but I never really knew if I should or not. Uh, my Christian friends and channel family have been very supportive of this idea for me to bring the show back. I just want to start simply by giving all of you sort of the origin stories behind my YouTube channel, as well as the Love Talk series itself, right? I first created my YouTube channel back in October of 2014. At that time, it was entirely a professional wrestling channel. I would watch all the pro wrestling shows every you know, Monday and Friday, and you know, just every week I'd watch all the wrestling shows, and I would go out of my way to make review videos about them, talking about everything that happened on the show, you know, results and, and what happened, the sort of the review of the whole show. Uh, that is what I did for a while. I would just strictly make wrestling-related content, whether it was particularly the shows. I would also cover wrestling news and rumors. That is what my channel started out as. And on the side, I also had a, vi a video series that I would do every week. It was called Love Talk, right? Love Talk was a series I had uh, you know, on uh, dating and relationships in the modern world. It was something I really enjoyed doing uh, because it allowed me to give my opinion and my views, my perspective, on topics that I was really passionate about discussing. You see, it's actually pretty funny because I'm really passionate about discussing dating, love, relationships, yet I myself have never actually dated. All right, I've never even been out on a date before. Right? It's just something I enjoy talking about because it allows me to... Uh, really get things off my chest about how I see certain things in our modern world, uh, which I will get into in, in future episodes here. Uh, I just enjoy being able to get my views on relationships, right? Not a whole lot of people, especially my age, I'm 20 years old for people who don't know, um, not a lot of people, especially my age, share my views when it comes to dating and relationships. So that makes this series very unique for me and very near and dear to my heart. You know, I did the original Love Talk series from March 11th, 2017 to December 28th of 2017. I ended up going 31 episodes over three seasons. I didn't do a, a whole third season. I ended up cutting it off short abruptly as I'll be getting into. You know, I was going through a lot in my life back then in 2017. I was unsaved at the time. I didn't become a Christian until January of 2018, but... I had a lot going on in my life and no longer had the passion to continue making content. I was going to high school at the time I was doing Love Talk, and honestly, Love Talk is what helped me get through high school. High school was not a fun place for me at all. I was viewed as the outcast in a way. It was what it was, right? So I stopped making videos altogether, altogether and it abruptly shut my channel down uh, in late December of 2017. And that would, that would be the way it was until August of 2019. You see, the Lord had actually been pushing me to reboot my channel as early as June of 2019. But I just kept not listening, right? I would not listen to the Lord. I'm like, why should I start a ministry? Why do I need to reboot my channel? Right? I'm not that great. There's plenty of ministries out there. Why me, Lord? But it didn't matter that there were already genuine grace ministries on YouTube and quite a few of them. The Lord was specifically calling me to have one. For a while, I didn't listen, but I would upload my first message on August 20th of 2019, and the rest is history, as they say. I have been privileged enough to post more than 275 messages over a span of 10 plus months. It's been a journey, and a really fun one at that. Thank you all for always being so kind and positive to me. I want to conclude this video by stating the following. I have decided to bring back Love Talk. I'm now calling it Love Talk Revisited. This would be episode one. I've grown a lot since 2017, and my perspectives have changed now that I've been a born-again Christian for over two years. This will give me an opportunity to share my advice and my opinions on love, sex, and dating in the modern world while continuing to share the good news of the gospel, right? And that concludes episode one of Love Talk. I will go ahead and give the gospel real quick. It's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It states that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. 
He was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Right, that is the gospel. Good news, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, in a nutshell. If you believe in your heart that Christ died for all of your sins, past, present, and future, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day for your justification, you are saved, okay? You are saved and dwell with the Holy Spirit, whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. It's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. You know, it ties in with John three sixteen, which says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, John three sixteen is one of my favorite verses in all of Scripture. I mean, I'm going to say that about every verse. Let's just be honest here. Uh, there's no amount of good works that we can ever do, even though we're encouraged to do good works. It's not what saves us, right? Nor is it what keeps us saved. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, and not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, another one of my favorite uh, group of verses in uh, all of Scripture. So wanted to include that short and sweet little gospel message at the end, but this would be episode one of Love Talk Revisited. Again, this is something I've thought about doing for a very long time, bringing this back, because it allows me to kind of get things off my chest. You know, when it comes to dating and, and love and relationships, especially in 2020, you know, I tend to view things differently than others, right? I, I am very much of the old school, as you'll get to know in these next few love talks. But uh, you, you're, you're going to learn a lot about what I think on dating and relationships and sort of just my mindset on the whole thing. Now, I'm not going to set anything in stone, but my goal with this series would be to do one episode a week. And it would be to do an episode every Friday night at 7 p.m. Central. That's exactly when you'll see this up, this uh, video uploaded. Would be uh, 7 o'clock p.m. tonight, my time, which is Central Standard Time. So I will see you in the next video, hopefully the next love talk, also next week, should the Lord tarry. Otherwise, God bless y'all.